Shalom and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Pastor Paul, the Shifa Maker. And now here I have a uh, Gideon Tosh Shofa crafters from an uh, Elan Antelope Horn. Yeah, and uh, this is a uh, video 1032 L size. And our L size so Gideon Tosh Shofa is anything after 16 inches right up to 19 inches. Yeah, measured straight tip to tip yeah so this is how we measure for this Elan uh, shofar so color of this uh, full polish uh, horn is I would say dark onyx color here dark onyx color and already engraved with the menorah classical menorah Exodus 25 and then we see as we progress you see the different patterns come out and uh, it ends with a at the bell here of I would say on the uh, olive green color yeah slightly olive green color coffee brown color that's about the range of the color as you can see here yeah very nice coloring and uh, the bell already cleaned out nicely and uh, engraved already done and I've already pre-drilled this particular horn so that we can uh, skip a step there it's just a matter of drilling it and uh, for this drilling here i've used a uh, 5 mm diameter hss drill bit yeah 5 mm diameter yeah sometimes i'll use 5.5 sometimes i use 6 so it depends on how i hear the sound then i will decide on which size to use yeah you're so used to it in the sense so that i can actually gauge what sound and what type of drill bit, what is diameter to actually produce that particular sound. So now, uh, after showing you that, I would uh, do a uh, trumpet mouthpiece bowl inside here on this mouthpiece here. Although it is much smaller, because why we don't want to make a big one because if. Uh, big hole big mouthpiece it will break the sound the sound will not be good yeah this is from my experience of making many many shofas yeah so using a cone shape tungsten carbide bit yeah the head there cross cut and uh this is what we do this is what we use so get it from your diy shop a cone shape yeah not too large yeah around this size the uh, diameter of it probably about 9 mm or 10 mm if you can get yeah so anything around this or maybe 11 mm if you think uh, your place has that so as long as it uh, fit for this particular mouthpiece to develop it to craft it so i'm going to put this here and uh, start to tune it before you form it a cone shape in a mouthpiece just put away my drill bit here yep I did done it up there nicely inside so after doing that stage of a the cone shape uh, carbide burr there let's be done here uh, let's hear the airflow that uh, mouthpiece here to capture your breath and that, that vibration that you have created from the lips yeah vibrating I will now enlarge the size and I want the rim around the mouthpiece there to be about uh, 1 mm yeah so that you will cut your lips
Okay, so the uh, assuming done. Yeah, the rim around it is really one mm. So let's hear the sound again, because progressively as we do the drilling and then the cone shape uh, uh, mouthpiece here, and then doing the rim to be one mm, it always changes the sound. Now you can hear the sound different again. Just now I couldn't get it because why the mouthpiece is not round enough inside there. They yeah, are not wholesome to catch your breath. But now you can get it. Okay. I will continue to tune it again and uh, enlarge this mouthpiece to let it flare out. Yeah, flare out just like a uh, bugle mouthpiece. You can see the flare there at the tip here. The sides. So I'm going to make it flare out so I can capture the your wholesome breath when you are blowing it. I cannot put it direct heat because it will melt the horn. So I will time to release it a bit and let it cool down a bit. Okay. Now I'm going to use a customized plumb bob with a bolt there for leverage to enlarge this small piece. Yeah. Can still enlarge it a bit, heat it up more to make it more malleable, soften it. You can see from your yeah, not bulk. Uh, zoom it in and you see that uh, I, have, I have made the flare of the mouthpiece there. Yeah, there's a flare there. Now to just uh, further hit it a bit. It's not even the flare all around. Okay, already done, but the, around the rim, I want to even out a bit more. Move it out. <coughs> L size. One video, one zero, three two. Let's hear the sound.
the sound, what you hear now the sound, awesome droning sound of a C and the high part is the G. Yeah, at the, uh, sorry, the high C. That means a low C, normal C, and a high C. Yeah, do, do. That's the sound that it gets. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> So the sound is super. It's uh, awesome, awesome droning sound. And uh, as you've seen this video of me tuning the shofar video one zero three two L size, give us a like on our video. Yeah, it really encourages us to move on, carry on. Well, there's many more shofars to be crafted. Yeah, by our team, by my team here. Yeah. So as you give us a like. Also remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and share, share out throughout your network of friends that they also encourage you to get show fast by choosing from our YouTube channel. Yeah, we are not just reseller, we are the actual Shofa craftsmen. Yeah, so by doing so, you encourage them to come aboard and be part of the army of Shofa blowers throughout the world. And so by doing so, it also help us to increase our subscriber base. Let me say thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you. Shalom.